Welcome back to Just Scribble. If you haven't seen, Sterling Inc. has been launching more planners. As you probably know, for 2024, they had launched dated planners in oh, like pretty much every size. Passport, A6, Weeks, B6, Standard, and A5. I think that's all of them. Six sizes, some of them in both horizontal and vertical layouts, some in compact styles, some in full year styles, some in a two book sort of a VEC set. And Catherine is at it again, launching planners. She launched recently an academic planner that goes from July to July, I think it is. I will have that down in the description box down below. I didn't purchase one because I don't like an academic planner, but it is definitely a great option if you need one as a teacher or a student. But it's also a really good option if you're a person that just needs to change your planner mid-year. So you can use a calendar planner from January to June, and then you can change up your planner with an academic planner, and then the next January, get a new planner if you want to planner hop or try out new sizes, new styles, things like that. So she did offer an academic planner. She also launched an undated daily planner, and that's actually what we're going to check out today. And then she is also launching undated planners in, I think, most if not all of these sizes and styles that she had for her 2024 planner release. And then of course, coming soon, she'll be launching her 2025 planner pre-order. But today we are going to check out her undated daily planners. Before I get into this I did want to say that it is evening we just finished dinner my boys are in the other room watching tv and I'm in here filming because I wanted to share these with you guys and check them out so I apologize for any background noise you may hear coming from the other room sometimes when they're watching tv they get a little bit loud but what we have here are the two undated daily planner sizes that she offers. She's offering a B6 and an A5 undated daily planner. And so we are going to open these up and check them out. Here I have my freebie. I will say that I am working on the planners for my launch as well. And I do have plans for a daily planner, but I still wanted to buy and check out her planner. And I will probably still use at least one of her planners in my lineup for 2025, even though I'm working to launch my own planner as well. I'll also probably use a Wonderland 222. I like supporting other businesses and every planner need is a little bit different. So I'll probably still end up using a Sterling Inc. And then I have a plan or a potential plan for this as well. But since they're undated, I don't have to start them in any particular time and I don't have to use them by any particular time. So I thought I would pick up one in each size, share them with you guys, and then talk to you guys about what I planned to use them for. But first freebies. So I got this freebie little card. It just has her website, her Instagram and email. All of that will be down in the description box down below. I will also put the details for all of these new planner launches as well. So the academic, the undated daily, and then the undated planners. So that if you're looking to shop, you'll have all the information that you need. And then this is the freebie sticker. It goes with this. And this was one of her kit things, the March kit theme, which is actually one of the first kits from her that I've actually seen that I kind of liked. Her kits, although gorgeous, are not my style. And so I have not really been drawn to any, but I really liked the March one. But these are the planners. So like I said, these are undated daily planners. They do come in a variety of different ways. So you can get them in a B6 size, or an A5 size, you can get them in a black onyx cover, or you can get them in the caramel cover, and then you can get them with white edges or gilded edges. They are 480 pages, and we will go through the layout in just a second. And it is a 3.7 by 3.9 millimeter grid, just like all of her common planners and her notebooks. So I did order both the B6 and the A6 in the black onyx with the white edges. I just wanted these to be a classic black that I could decorate with stickers or I could paint on or whatever I wanted because the purpose for these for me or what I plan on using one of these four at least for 2025 is as my journal so that's kind of my plan for this i just don't know which size i want to use so i thought i would pick up both and then i could decide i also think this would be a really good work planner or if you're a daily monthly planner this is a great planner for that as well but my plan for this was a journal what drew me to this layout and the fact that it was undated but also dated, which I'll show you in a second, was to use it as a journal. I just couldn't decide if I wanted an A5 or a B6, and this is gonna be for 2025. I'm not going to start this until then, so I have time to decide, and then whichever one I don't use for 2025, I could use for 2026 because it is undated. So on the cover, no matter which cover color option you get, it does say daily planner in gold. 
And then they are a soft, flexible cover. So the, the planners are very flexible. They actually feel better to me than the 2024. I feel like each launch, her covers and her bindings and the lay flat is getting better and better. I don't know if she's changing manufacturers or if she's just changing what she's selecting, but they do lay flat beautifully, which I think is awesome. And the layout in both of these are identical. So I actually think, let's see, which one do I wanna, I mean, it really doesn't matter. I think I'm gonna go through it in the A5 size just because it's bigger, so that way you might be able to see it a little bit better. But the layout is identical between the two. No matter which color cover you choose, whether you choose gilded or white edges, and whether you choose B6 or A5, the layout is going to be the same. So we're gonna flip through this one, but this one is identical. So when you open it up, you have a plain white page that's the little card stocky kind of page. And then the page that's attached to this little flyleaf page just says daily planner at the bottom. And then when you turn that page, you have two grid pages and this whole planner is page numbered. So at the bottom, you have page numbers throughout. So this is page number two because in her numbering system, this is page number one. That kind of differs depending on the planner that you buy. A lot of planners start page number one on the first like functional page, and some like the common planners start on the actual first page, whether it's a functional page or not. So this is page number two, even though it's your first functional page, and you have two grid pages here that you could use for anything you wanted, and you actually have a second two-page spread here. So you could use these for a vision board, your word of the year, you could use them for an index, you could use them for anything you wanted. And then after that, you go into your quarterly tracking pages. Because this is an undated planner, there's no months and there's no days on them. So there's no dates, there's no one through 31 or anything like that. There's no month at the top, nothing on these pages. You don't have to use them as a perpetual calendar. You don't have to use them for habit tracking. You can use them for whatever you want. And I do have some ideas on how I would use these if I use this as a journal. And closer to 2025, I will walk through that with you guys and how I'm going to use this and set it up. But I wanted to share this with you now just so you guys could see the layout. So you have a section at the top where you could put a sticker or you could stamp or you could letter the month if that's what you were gonna use each column for was a month. Then you have a grid section here. Then you have a long grid section here that you could put your days of the week and your dates. And then you have a grid section here. So it's divided kind of into three sections and you could use those any way you wanted. So you have quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, and quarter four. And then it goes into the monthly spread. It has a sort of white spot here where there's no grid where you could put your monthly sticker. And then it has your grid, it has your spot here where you could put your days of the week. And then it is just a monthly spread that you can date however you want. And just like these pages, you don't have to use this as an actual monthly spread. You can do all sorts of things with monthlies. One fun thing that I like to use them for is collections. So that is probably what I would use them for in a journal, but we will talk about that more closer to me using this. But this is not a bundled planner, so all your months are up front. So you have all of your monthly spreads at the front, and you actually have 14 of them. So you can do a pre and a post month, or you can do two post months for future planning if you want. And then it goes into your daily pages. I did mention that this is an undated and a dated planner, and that's because none of this stuff is dated but this is dated. So your daily pages are dated, but they don't tell you what day it is. You do have January 1st through December 31st already dated for you, but it doesn't say whether January 1st is a Monday or a Saturday or what day of the week it is. That means that you can start this at any time. It also means that if you bought this now and you wanted to start it June 1st, you could just go straight to June 1st and you could start using this planner from here to the back and then when you got to January pick up here and work your way back through May and then you could set up your monthlies with June through May and then your two future planning months or however you wanted to use your monthlies so it is dated in the fact that the daily pages have a date on them but they don't have a day so that way it's not tied to a specific year at the beginning of each month there is a month intro page that has the month name on it and then it's just a grid page you can do anything you want on this you could do this as a monthly reset you could do this as a currently page you could just decorate it you could do a photo montage you could do your goals you could do anything you wanted on these and then you go into your daily pages for that month 
which just have the date at the top. And then it has a timeline, which is in a 12 hour clock. So six to 12, and then it has a grid space down here with no timeline and a small grid space up here where you could pretty much fit, let's see, not quite, you could almost fit a 15 millimeter grid washi. You'd have to put a thinner washi or cover the six, but you could lay washi there if you wanted to, to kind of divide that up. But it, but it has your timeline there and then it has the markings. All of the grid pages have the dot here, a dot here, a dot here, and a dot here to help you divide your page horizontally, vertically, or in two quadrants. Like I said, it is page numbered throughout. So these pages are, so these pages are page numbered. So you have a timeline on your dailies and your date, but nothing else. And it goes through your entire month. And at the end of the month, you have two blank grid pages that you can use for whatever you want. You could put your trackers there. You could do your review there. You could put your memory spread there, anything that you wanted. And then you go into the next month. I will say that it is set up so that your monthly overview page is always on the left hand side. So in January, January ended here. And so you got two grid pages. But if the month ends over here on the left hand side, you're going to get three. So let me see if I can find one. So the end of April is on the left hand page. So that means you get a grid page here, then your two grid pages and then May starts here. So she designed it so that your monthly overview page is always on the left-hand page and the first day of the month is always on the right-hand page. I personally really like that. I like having that consistency of having your overview page always on the left and your first day of the month always on the right. So for me, that is a really awesome feature. Another feature that she did is that she included February 29th so that you can use this in a leap year. Obviously, we just had a leap year, so you won't need this for a bit, but you could just cover that up and you would just have an extra grid page just like you have for April, you would have three for February. After the last day of the year, you have 37 blank grid pages that you could use for anything you wanted. You'd use this for collections, pen swatching, overflow, anything you wanted. And that is the end of the book. You have the last page at the back that says that it's the daily planner designed by Sterling Inc. You have the little hard cardstock page and then the back of the book. And that is the daily planner. I personally really like how this is set up. I think this is a really good setup for a daily planner. It's set up very similar to the Hobonichi A6, which is a daily planner or the Kinbor. Kinbor has like a dupe of the Hobonichi and their daily planner is set up very similar to this. The daily planner that I've been working on designing with hopes to have it for 2025, but no guarantees. It has a slightly different setup than this, but I really like this setup. And I think this is a really good setup for a journal. I know a lot of people really like the Hobonichi Cousin for their daily planner and or their journal, and they don't really use the weekly pages. And so this kind of fixes that problem. If you liked the common planner, but you weren't using your weeklies and you really wish the dailies were dated, this gets you there. If you like the Hobonichi Cousin, but you're not using your weeklies, this gets you there. And the fact that it's undated, but dated, so the daily pages are dated saves you from having to stamp and sticker all these daily pages so you won't have a bump or a whole lot of work to date this you'll really only have to date these monthlies and then the quarterlies at the front if you use them as actual monthlies and quarterlies if you use them as something else you won't have to date anything in this planner to use it and you can just pick it up and start using it at any time you can start wherever you want and then pick back up over here in January when you get through December but that is the daily planner from Sterling Inc. I didn't know if you guys had seen it. Like I said, she's got an academic planner and also her undated planners coming in the common planner style with the weeklies and all of that. And so I will put all of that information down in the description box below. I will also link her YouTube because she does have videos where she shares her planners. But that's my video. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to put them down below and I will definitely get back with you. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the share of the Sterling Inc. daily planner. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss future videos and don't forget to just scribble.